Alright, so last time we left us off of this cliffhanger. What could be the secret code that lets us hack the government? We're gonna read the info box on the right. Nope! The invisible coin block says you can't read it. So yeah, that, that's another one of my trolls right there. This is a modified version of the bonus game. That ends this movie, so we'll be beginning with the second one. Wait, how do we begin with 12? That's strange. Uh, something... I think something must have gone wrong when playing the previous movie. I have no idea how we... I think it must have been that bonus game thing. The movie didn't play back exactly as planned. Well, now we're down to 11 again, but the... Previous one did not play back exactly as planned. I'm guessing the bonus game was affected by it. I, yeah, if I remember, I should have actually gone two lives out of that bonus game. I don't know why I didn't. Anyway, you have to take this egg with you. Anyway, like as this level suggests, the green switch is needed. And it tells you to check back at the eye-shaped island. So. Yeah, the pipes are two-way, so you can backtrack. And we're about to arrive at the checkpoint. This is where I'm going to lose lots of lives. Just watch. I'm going to lose a total of nine lives here. So there's a checkpoint. No, you can't stay big. Which, actually, is a good thing, because it would be really annoying to be big in this part. Ooh, I went too close to the explosion. So that's death number one there. I think what might have caused the movie playback to not work out properly is the fact that, uh, no, yeah, like the bonus game had a little too much randomness in it, and <laughs> way to go, Mario, you picked up the bomb. <laughs> you picked up the bomb. <laughs> I thought that was a hilarious death. I, I, that was, I don't even know how I managed to do that, but I managed to pick up the bomb while being in the pee balloon. That was just a really dumb death. I hit the ceiling there. Hey, we, we've got still six, still have six more deaths to go. Uh, so. I should have moved to the left much faster than that. I I thought it would have missed me, but it didn't. So I'll be running. Uh, so I'll be running very low on lives because of this level. This was actually a good one. This one I could have easily made it, but... 
Yeah, I could have easily made this one. But I made that stupid mistake right there. That was like that was so dumb. I I got I got too cocky. So we'll try this again. And I missed the balloon. So I'm gonna try to bounce off that. Well, I was trying to, but I hit the spikes. So there's not that much room over there. So it won't give you that much room. I could have actually made it. And I was I was hoping I would actually stomp that other bomb before it exploded. That didn't work out. So that's yet another death. Where um, where more than one fought the file side in this recording and we're still not done with this one level. I'm gonna grab that one over there. Wasn't sure. I wasn't sure what I was trying to do. Was I trying to grab that, or was I trying to like shortcut my way? Either way, you have to be very careful. You could try using the chuck stomp to shortcut your way. That didn't work out. This is gonna be the successful attempt now. Yeah. Boom, he blew himself up. That's what you get for causing me so much trouble. So blown up by his, by his own bomb. That people is not really worth it. Wait, don't want to die at the last minute. That 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 would be that would cause so much rage if someone had to die at the last minute. 
Like, because that that blast can actually hurt you. If you're not careful, that blast could hurt you. There's an elevator level here. The two turn blocks that are already turning, that's they're a door. Because I was unable to get a proper door here, something happened that prevented me from being able to put a door. I don't know how, but just something happened. I don't know, I forgot what, what I did. But yeah, the level scrolls with you, so that means that jump I didn't make it because the spikes moved to the right as I was jumping to the right. You know what that means? I am going to fast forward this. I'm just gaining lives right here, replaying Vanilla Dome 4. Okay, here we go. So, gain 15 lives from there. You gotta run in advance because otherwise that wall will follow you to the left. It will crush you. Not crush you, yeah, it will poke you. So, you gotta hit that top, or that, the second, the middle one technically, no. So, Kamex Gang. So that's foreshadowing for the next level. So you got res door. See what I did there? Res door. And every time you kill one, a magic Koopa appears. So you can have up to three magic Koopas at once if you kill three of them. You got projectiles to worry about. See, I've got three magic robots, so there we go. Yep, this is a reference to Proton John. Because he said move faster, Pokey, the Pokey is actually gonna move faster. How much faster? Well, there you go. This much faster. Oh, but he, yeah, he turned around. It's a, it's there are two Pokey, so once you're done with the first, you've gotta get onto the other. This will also be full of death. Should have made those stems blue based on just what she could be called some of those stems for the mantras based on what they are attached to. It could look more aesthetically pleasing. And yes, by the way, the reason floating munchers are frowned upon is because of aesthetics. It's nothing to do with it not making sense, it's, that it's just aesthetics. That's why they say change the floating munchers to spike balls. It, or rotate them. Or redraw their stems also. It's the whole aesthetic stuff. It doesn't have to be rooted to anything solid, it's just to be rooted to something that's aesthetically pleasing. So, oh, I found a I just matched Pokey's speed, so once you do that, you can just. You don't have to press a single button. That's one way, then you have to do this thing again to go the other way.
い。Now you've got to go to the right. It looks like there's nothing at the right, but just go. Go either way. We're gonna go to the left first. So now to make the first jump, you gotta run to the right and then stop running when you hit that wall, and then immediately make the jump. You will still be able to jump high, but because you have stopped running to the right, you'll be vertically upward directly. So. This shell is a gimmick here. Um, trying to, I'm trying to use this shell to. The original version of this actually had more spikes, and it was something you'd expect in a TAS. The original version it had more spikes, meaning that jump, like that ground block. That I just hit my head against that was like initially a spike, which means that that made a, that makes the jump much harder. Something you'd probably want to do you slow down for. I'm trying to make the jump like there, but apparently I hit the ceiling too early. Eventually, I discover a new strategy that actually works. But first, the loss of many lives. And I think there's another point at which I have to actually go back to Vanilla Dome for somewhere. I forgot how many lives I lose with this one, but it's a lot. Go back to the mud one forever again, or was it the only time? I think there is another time where I run low on lives, but that's all. But yeah, the mud one four is a good way to grind on lives. So actually, you would probably want to do that before you do the green switch palace. I was trying to just do a running jump there, but that didn't work out very well. Now this jump, very tricky. But I think yeah, I did manage to get five lives, so and I figured out a good way to do this jump. Hit the ceiling. And with that, we'll end this off here.